Hello everyone, I'm Nikki Pursuit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm on my way to Santa Monica and I thought I'd kind of film the intro and kind of the history about what Santa Monica is like. In every video of mine, for every place that I go to, I always mention the history of the city so you guys kind of get a knowledge of what the city, like how the city was formed and then kind of just show you guys what the city is like now. Now keep in mind, Santa Monica is a big tourist city in California. A lot of people know about Santa Monica. They're really known for the pier. They're really known for all the rides on the pier. They're also known for Third Street Promenade, which is a big just street full of shopping areas and you know, not shopping areas, but many shops. It's just a long street of it. Many more. And of course, besides the pier, they're also known for their beaches. The little history that I have that how Santa Monica was formed. And I'll also put the link for the history of Santa Monica if you guys are interested down below. But I'm reading this word for word off this website. And I, again, I'm gonna be linking that website down below. But originally from England, Santa Senator Jones, a multi-millionaire from silver and gold mining in Nevada, came to Santa Monica in 1874 and purchased three-fourths of Colonial Baker's property for $162,500. They found at the town of Santa Monica on July 10th, 1875. I'll be linking the rest of the history down below if you guys are interested in reading upon that. Although that was kind of how Santa Monica formed and how it was bought and such and by who. Although, as I said just now, it became this big touristy city in California, mostly Again, known for the pier and third street promenade you also have all the people in LA that have the bougier taste in food that also go down to Santa Monica and a lot of the restaurants down there are pretty typical to the rest of LA as well I also want to insert that Santa Monica always has a populated you know there's always people walking around is what I'm trying to say there's always going to be a good time to go out I don't think that there's really any specific time that there wouldn't be people out well besides considering what's going on in the world and that whole thing but there's always going to be people I believe just roaming about the city and the town and wanting to see what the city looks like. With that I'm gonna start going about what Santa Monica looks like and how the whole environment is of Santa Monica. I also want to mention before I fully go into this video for travel I have had several vlogs in Santa Monica before if you guys want to check those out they're more of messing around with friends and such like that so if you guys are interested in the more vlog style version of what Santa Monica really is like. I have videos of that and I'll link those down below as well. If you guys are interested in seeing what that is like, you can. I also just decided to switch my top so you guys don't get confused if I'm filming on two separate days for my intro and everything. So I did switch my top for today and I don't know why I had to tell you guys. I felt like it was necessary. Okay, let's get onto this video like for real. <laughs> Hello everyone. So we finally made it to Santa Monica. We're currently at the very end of 3rd Street Promenade. I kind of mentioned that earlier in today's video is that 3rd Street's the area where there's a lot of shops that you can shop at, look around. And we're at the very end where there is a lot of restaurants and stuff. So we're gonna head around there and walk around and see what happens. heading in the car now we're gonna head out to Rodeo Drive I'll explain more what Rodeo Drive is after we leave here yeah we kind of wanted to get away from a lot of the people here kind of to be expected when you go out I guess we're gonna head over there now So we're on our way 
to Rodeo Drive right now and I kind of want to just tell you guys the history of it. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are interested. But in 1912, though the street was officially named in 1906, the history of Rodeo Drive began in 1912 with the opening of the Beverly Hills Hotel. The hotel was offered access to Santa Monica Boulevard and Wilshire Boulevard via a network of brittle paths. Rodeo Drive serving as a main one. Although now in the current state of the 2000s and everything, Rodeo Drive is really just known for the luxury stores such as Coach, Michael Kors, so on and so forth. So here's just some looks of Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive. my whole day in Santa Monica today. And something I did want to mention kind of now at the end of this video is that I kind of wanted to compare Santa Monica with like, I wanted to compare Santa Monica with how it was pre and how it is now post because I feel like that's a really important note is that a lot of things have changed with like traveling situations based on what's going on in the world. Because a lot of things have changed, a lot of people have more things to keep in mind when traveling now to a lot of these new places. With somewhere like Santa Monica and Rodeo Drive, since I went there today too, it was a very, I guess, unexpected day because I didn't really know where I was going in Santa Monica today. And I feel very bad because I also didn't get to show you guys the pier, which is like the biggest part of Santa Monica. I mainly got to show you guys third Street today and Rodeo Drive obviously in Beverly Hills. But with those two places and considering what's going on, I feel like it's really important for a lot of people to know. Santa Monica right now is one of those places that obviously it's a lot more empty and it's like a lot of people are very mindful of what's going on as far as you know situations go and again what's going on. Although I feel like there's been a significant amount of people who are staying home and are not traveling as much. So I guess there is some somewhat of an opportunity for you to be able to travel. Although staying home and being as safe as possible is obviously the best bet you can do. Not being able to spread germs. Obviously there is a point that everyone has where it's like, I need to get out of the house and I need to do something. And I feel like a lot of people are doing that as far as like being local to Santa Monica and Beverly Hills and being able to go to Rodeo Drive is that a lot of people are visiting, but they're from the cities that are nearby. So it's a lot easier to just drive through and be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna walk around much, but I wanna see what's just going on and I'm gonna walk for a little bit. Although there are some people that still have that hope right now during this time that they can travel here. So if you do travel here, please know that they're very strict in a lot of these places right now. They're very, very strict on wearing a mask. They're very, very strict on keeping sanitary. I also wanna let you guys know that a lot of the shops on Third Street, they're going out of business. And that's a very unfortunate thing to keep in mind and how our world world is changing and I want you guys to really understand that yeah a lot of these big businesses and big names are going out of business although there are still a lot of locations for these big businesses to still make their earnings and their income I really just want you guys to be mindful of small businesses as well and to be able to support small businesses with their shops because that's something I kind of felt bad for while going to third street was that there was a lot more shops that were closed down because obviously a lot of financial struggles have been brought among us and I want you guys to be able to give while you can to small businesses and to those that you need it if you're in a situation where you can give. I also want to insert this clip because I kind of repeated myself in the reasoning as to why you guys should support small businesses and I kind of want to say that a lot of the businesses that were closed at 3rd Street that I noticed were the small businesses that closed down whereas a lot of the stores that were still open were the bigger businesses that were a little bit more financial structured well. If you know of any small businesses that are still running online that you could support or if you know a small business in your city that's still open, please, please, please go and support them whether it's in the food industry or if it's a physical item that you want to give someone else. There's a lot of opportunities to where you can give to a small business and have that be chosen over something that is a bigger known, I guess, business because a lot of these bigger businesses are still being just as successful as I would be 
be because they are still making a lot of online earnings. That's something to keep in mind. So I would 100% support a small business when and if you can. Again, be mindful of traveling. If you are traveling over here, make sure you're supporting the right areas in the right places. And I'm really hoping you can enjoy a lot of what Santa Monica Merdeo has to offer you. I'll try to do a part two for Santa Monica and show you guys what Santa Monica has, you know, what looks like. Although you can also, like I said in the beginning of this video, I have other vlogs that were in Santa Monica that gives you guys the opportunity to see the pier more and such. I just feel very bad that I didn't get to show you guys the pier today. And yeah, with that, I'm going to make this outro official. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, a good slumber whenever you're watching this. And before I fully end, if there's any place you'd want me to visit that you're very interested in in California or anywhere near California, let me know and I'll try to make that happen so you guys can see some footage of that. And if you guys want me to add any other comments to my travel videos, let me know because I feel like a lot of what I add is very much just the history and what I'm doing and then B-roll. That's all I'm obviously doing as you saw in today's video. So if there are other suggestions you guys have of me and like what clips I should add, let me know. I always want to hear what I can improve on. And again, I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, a good summer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.